YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESG and Net and this is MLB 17 the show St. Louis Cardinals franchise here this is episode number nine as we are getting ready here for a series against the Brewers as you take a look here it's going to be Zach Davies of the Brewers taking on Carlos, Man or Carlos Martinez our right-handed pitcher for the Cardinals our ace here on this staff as we'll be taking them on here in the uh, three-game series here. Now, today, you guys will be seeing uh, games one and, I believe, four of this series. As you take a look here, we have an 18-game winning streak for ourselves here. So, that's always nice. As we uh, ended the first month of the season on a high note, they're 24-1. and one, uh, With that one loss coming to uh, or coming from the Nationals there, I believe it was like game two of that series. Uh, so we're actually looking really good here. Everyone got to good at bats here. The late course, we have a couple of guys slumping here, uh, but that's going to happen here. Is now pitchers are learning guys and their mannerisms and stuff like that as we go along here. It's going to get even tougher uh, as we get uh, close to the midpoint of the season. But there you see Martinez, his numbers so far for this season, just under uh, one there in the ERA. 5-0, and oh, he's uh, pitched all five games he's been in, and he's had five good quality starts. So he has been pretty much untouchable now. As we see Travis Shaw here, last 10 games there, 5-44. and 44. Wow, just really having a tough time at the plate. Now, I remember the last time we played against these guys, we had that 23-inning uh, game. Hopefully that will not be the case here today. As It looks like a good, pretty good start here now for Martinez and the Cardinals as he gets the strikeout there, the first strikeout of the inning. Uh, here as we go to the second inning, uh, we'll see now the next at bat here. Full count. That's going to be a swing and a miss. And that's going to send the next brewer there packing their bags back to the dugout. As here we are at Bush Stadium here for this uh, game. And we'll see the next pitch. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. Nice job. And they keep all three. Kinda, all three that come up, all three go back to the dugout with a strikeout pinned on them. So now we'll go to the bottom of the second here. we got Zach Davies. There you see his numbers. One and three for the year. Uh, just a little over one there in his ERA. 22 strikeouts, five walks. And there you see the innings he has pitched so far. 30 and a third. So pretty li little bit of a rough go for him so far here in this uh, going to the second month of the season here. But we'll see that we'll have, uh, I believe this is uh, Jerko there. Jerko will go ahead and hit a single there to left. That is going to be a nice one there for him. As he is on board there on that one. And that is going to go ahead and get him on board. Now Molina going to come up to bat here. We'll see what Molina can do as he is uh, just uh, hitting uh, pretty decently here so far here. Going into the second month. As we'll see a 2-1 count here for Molina. And that one's going to be a dribbler there to short. As we'll get a double play pulled on us there. Ah, tough go there. And that is going to go ahead, and that is going to end the inning there. As there's no score here. And, of course, uh, take a look there in the hits column for the uh, Brewers. They have not gotten a hit yet. So now Jonathan VR, 0 for 1. He struck out back in the first. We'll see what he can do this time around here as uh, we'll see him come up to bat and try to put something together here as the uh, Brewers still hitless here in this ball game here in the fourth inning. And we'll see VR here. He'll bump this one, and that one's going to be tracked down by Peralta. As Peralta makes a nice bare arm move there. Nice job getting that runner out on that bare arm throw. Take a look at the replay here and see how he did it. And he just barrels down the line here, finds the ball, grabs it, chucks it over to the right field, and it gets to the first baseman there. Nice job on that play. So Perez now coming up to bat. 0 for 1 for him. He ground out back in the first inning. And we'll see if he can try to do the same thing here. As it is a 2-2 count. That's a swing and a miss there. And that is going to be a strikeout there. Nice job as he gets the batter out there. So nice play there uh, from Martinez. As he's doing a good job here keeping these Brewers off the base pass. Now, Eric Timms here 0 for 1. We'll see what he can do in this one as We'll take a look here. He has a 1-2 count with two outs. And Perez, or I should say, uh, Martinez looking to get him out. And, yeah, Timms goes after that one. As now, after four here, 
the Brew Crew still hitless here so far in this ball game. Now go to the fourth inning here. We'll see the shift here, and you know that who that means. That is uh, Carpenter up to bat here, as they are, everyone in the infield has now shifted to the right here, trying to get him to knock him knock the ball over to the shift. And we'll see here that oh that one goes right up the middle there. There's a shortstop there who makes a play there and gets Carpenter out on that one, and that is going to retire Carpenter and is at bat. So Carpenter it gets thrown out there on that one on the shift. Shift gets a hold of him that time around. That time around, we'll see now Peralta up to bat. 0, 0 for 2 here in the count, and we'll see that this is going to be an easy fly ball there to right field as the first baseman gets a hold of that one there. Now a 1-1 one, one count here for the next batter. And we'll see here Grischek here, there. He tries to outrun this one, but nope, just two feet too slow there. And that is going to cost them as that wraps up them in the fourth inning there. After four, still no score. Now we'll go to the sixth inning here. We'll see here 0-2 count, two outs. And Diaz knocks this one up the middle there. That is going to be a base hit. And he will get on board here to keep this inning alive for the Redbirds. As you see there, Diaz with now 32 hits now coming in today's game there. As you see, uh, Ty there with uh, Flower and Molina. Peralta, the only one right now who has four more than him, and has that 36 right now for the season. So Carpenter up to bat here. He's 0 for 2. He struck out back in the fourth inning here. And, of course, ground out there. Last time we've seen him up to bat, as you see Fred Bird here trying to get the fans fired up here, trying to get some motivation here for Carpenter to do something here. He's got a uh, two outs uh, runner on first, and we'll see there. That is going to be a blooper out there. and I, Well, not really a blooper, but a, a gapper out there, I should say. Runner uh, will go ahead and come around and score there. Nice job there from DS scoring. And Carpenter will be placed at second base on that double. Nice job there as the Redbirds knock in the first run in the ball game here today. 1-0 lead here for the Cards as that one just gets in there. Nice job of finding the gap. Now go to the seventh inning here and we'll see that uh, Davies gives up a single to Grishrick to left. And that is going to cost him here as he will be told to give, be given the hook here. And he will be taken out of the game. So nice job there from Davies as he, uh, for today, he ends the game with uh, six innings of work, give up six hits, one run, one earned run, three strikeouts, ERA at 1.25. So Carlos Torres will now come in, the, uh, come in the game here today in the seventh, and we'll see what he can do. There you see his numbers so far for the year. And try to maintain this, uh, this current lead right now the Cardinals have. With now Piscotty coming up the bat, and it's Piscotty, oh, bad bunt right there. He pops that one up right to the catcher, and that leaves the runner at first base. So Piscotty's going to have to go back to the dugout there. A little embarrassed there, and maybe you have to work on his bunt skills here coming up uh, for the next game. So we'll see now uh, that Jerko will be up to bat here. Oh, one count for Jerko as there's a runner on first, and that's going to be a swing and a miss there as he strikes out on that one and that runner stays on board there as Torres doing a good job here coming out of the pin here now has retired two straight here so with two outs Molina's going to come up to bat here we'll see what he can do with that one runner on board as you see Molina 0 for 2 he'll pop out back in the fifth and where you see what he's done so far here for the season now 0-1 count two outs Molina looking for his pitch here trying to drive something here to get a base hit and he does so the runner from first will now go advance to second so now we have runners at first and second now and now we have the pitcher yeah the pitcher coming up to bat here and this at this point I was thinking about trying to bring in the pitch hitter here and, and now retrospect I kind of should have uh, Martinez is playing pitching so well here. I didn't want to throw him, you know, I didn't want to take him out of the game just yet. And of course, we didn't get our bullpen ready. So we'll go ahead and give Martinez another shot here. Try to see if he can try to at least try to get a base hit here. And we could try to use Flower and try to see what he can do with his bat. He's been hit, hitting pretty well here as of late. 
But we'll see a uh, run on the first and second here, and oh, Martinez goes after that one, and yep, that is it. That is going to be the inning there. As you leave two stranded there, and only still a one nothing ball game here for the Redbirds. And remember, the Cardinals have not given up any hits yet. So Martinez now here comes up the pitch here in the eighth, and that is going to be a uh, round there. But oh my goodness, Jerko throws that one, almost throws it away there, and uh, Carpenter. Picks it up, but he cannot get the tag there. Can I get the bag or the runner as the runner advances now to first base? So Jerko will be, uh, he will be given a error there on the play. So it's an E5. Oh, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Actually, E4, excuse me. Uh, E4 now on that one. So that's going to be errors. Hopefully, that error does not, yeah, does not come back and bite in the buck there. Is, you see Broxton will get thrown out, get uh, struck out there. Nice job there for Martinez picking his uh, fielder up and getting the inning. So in the inning now, here we go to the ninth inning. We'll see that it's going to be Ho who comes out. He's looking for his 12th save here for the season. He comes in for his 12th start. And we'll see here one, two count now as this one gets hit up the middle there. That is going to be a base hit. That's going to break up the combined no hitter. Yeah. Or into the ninth here. There was a no hitter up to this point, and that is going to go ahead and bring Bundy at first base. Take a look here. Just try his best there. Try to get a dribbler there to maybe try to get the second baseman or shortstop to make a play there, but they just could not get there. So Orlando or Ariola coming up now to pitch run. Now we'll see here what he can do and see if he's going to be able to take off on this uh, this next pitch here or. They're going to just sit out and sit here and wait. But there you see a nice swing and miss there on Ryan Brom. Nice job as they strike him out. He's been struggling quite a bit here, especially against these Cardinals here as of late. And that's going to sit him down. So runner still at first. And now you got Jonathan VR here who is 0 for 3. And he is known to try, try to break up, break up stuff here as he... Did so there in the 20, that uh, 23 inning came. But there you see, they try to throw him out there at second. And nah, just a bad throw there from Molina. As that one is going to cost him there. And he's going to be put at second base. So the runner is at second. And still with one out here. We've still got a chance to do something here. He's got a 2-2 count. And we get VR to swing and miss there on that one. Nice job. And VR will go ahead and go back to the bench to grab him some pine there. So... Oh, now just uh, two outs here. He has the opportunity here now to do something here. And he, all he has to do now is just try to strike out Perez, who's 0 for 3, flat out back in the seventh here. So this should be a quick and easy at bat, but it's not so the case here. Remember, this is a major league baseball, and these guys uh, in high pressure situations are really good at it so we'll see here what he will do here is he has a runner at second 0-1 count and he hits this one right down the third base line there that runner from second is going to go ahead and round third and that is going to be a base hit and an rbi there for perez as they have now tied up the ball game now one all here and the cardinals have to come back and win this one in the final inning here in the bottom of the ninth as Ho blows a save here. This is his second save, I believe, for the year for him. So we'll see here that he will pop this one up. And that is going to be an easy catch there to Rias. Piscata gets underneath that one. And that is going to be it for the inning. So I think that's actually the first save I've actually blown this year myself um, here with uh, Ho. So we'll try to see if we can bounce back here as we go ahead and see Piscotti up to bat. And we'll see the pitch here from Piscotti. And there you see that one gets popped up there. And that is going to go to right field. Easy play. And that ends the inning. So after nine innings, it's still tied one on. We're going to go play some extra baseball here. Some free baseball now for the fans. As we'll see that Rosenthal will be here. And there you see uh, three games he's been in so far. And he's had three strikeouts. And he's been doing pretty well against... Um, or actually being a tough time against a right-handed uh, pitching here. So we've got a lefty up here. We'll see what we can do against this lefty as Rosenthal gives up a base hit there. That is going to go in for a uh, base hit, and that could be the start of something here as 
the Brew Crew has somebody on board here. And we'll take a look here at the replay and see that, yep, that one is going to be a base hit. And it's going to be fair. And Shaw will be up to bat. So Broxton now here coming up to bat. 0 for 3. He's been having a rough day here. It's now hopefully we try to get another strikeout here on him and another Yep, 0 for, as he goes 0 for 4 here on that one. And that is going to go ahead and end the inning. So after 10, uh, after the top half of the 10, it is uh, still a 1-1 ball game. So Jace, Jer, excuse me, Jared Hughes now, eight games he's been in so far this year. You see six strikeouts, 10 and two-thirds innings of work for him as he's taking on Jericho here. 1 for 3, he's single back in the second inning. We'll see what Jericho can do here in the top, or excuse me, in the bottom of the tenth. Here it's a one-one ball game here, and Jericho knocks that one in there, goes to left field. That is going to be a base hit, and Jericho has his say or has a uh, single there. And now the Cardinals have an opportunity here to do something here. Hopefully, they can take advantage of it here. As you see, Jericho just finds his pitch right there, drops that one down there as a line drive. And it gets that one in there. So the coach is being asked, hey, are you going to substitute someone in there or not? And we decided not to. So we're going to keep Jerko out there on the base pass. Now we'll see Molina. He'll bunt this one here in the VR. He just, or I should say, Tim's there just messes up the play there. He uh, cannot get the uh, throw there as he tried to throw the th second there. But he bobbles it. Gets a hold of it, but does tag out Molina at first. So now we have a runner at second. And we have our pitcher now coming up back we give rosenthal another at bat here as we go to well, with one out here with one runner on board this is not going to be a deep fly ball but it will be a high one and that is going to go ahead and put or keep uh, i should say jerko there at second so now dexter flower coming up the bat there you see 0 for 4 he struck out He's been hitting well, but today in this game so far, he has not been doing so such. So we'll see now here up to bat here. 0-1 count, two outs. He's just looking for a pitch here to drive the runner home. And this is definitely going to bring him and the runner home as that is a two-run shot there. And that is ball game as the Cardinals win this one in a walk-off fashion here. Dex Fire hit his fifth home run of the year. Cardinals win this one 3-1. to one. Nice job as they get the victory here today. There you see him getting some much lo needed love there from his teammates here as he gets that bit home run there and helps to win the ball game. Nice job there from Flower. And the Cardinals pull off the victory. Nice day for him as Dexter is now one for five in the ball game with that game-winning home run, two RBIs, and a run scored by him. And a nice swing of the bat here to take a look at the replay. Great game there from them as the Cardinals. There you see, after the celebration there, it gets picked up the victory here. So our player of the game in game one of this series is Carlos Martinez, as you see. Eight innings of work, 16 strikeouts, and his ERA now .64 for the season. He picks up his sixth victory here, and this is his sixth straight victory uh, since starting the season there. And nice job there from him. Beautiful game here from him, especially 16 strikeouts there. Not a shabby game at all. Definitely being king of the hill here today at Bush Stadium. So, the Cardinals get the victory here. We'll see more stats as Rosenthal gets his first victory of the year. Uh, gets his, uh, or I should say, uh, Rosenthal is now, uh, actually, Rosenthal gets the victory. Martinez uh, does not. He actually gets, I, I messed that up. He actually gets a no decision. Uh, but he is still 6 0 for the year. Uh, Rosenthal won a hit, two strikeouts, and of course, did not give up anything. Carpenter, one for four, uh, a double and an RBI. Molina, one for four. In that ball game, of course, Dexter, uh, one for five, that home run there that helped us out. For the Brewers, uh, Davies, like I already mentioned already, six innings of work, five, uh, six hits, one run, one run, run, three strikeouts, and his ERA is at 1.23. Hughes, 0 for two now, uh, two uh, two thirds innings of work, uh, two hits, two runs, two earned runs, ERA now 317. Bundy, one for three, and Perez, one for four 
in the ball game, of course, with an RBI there for him as he knocked in a uh, fellow player. So we'll take a look there. Nice game there. But, unfortunately, our winning streak comes to an end as we end up losing the next two games. And our 19-game winning streak comes to an end. We could try it. We tried to get it to 20, but just couldn't do it as uh, we end up losing games uh, number two and three. Game two, we lost seven to three, as you see there on the screen. And, of course, game three, nine to four. So tough losses there. Our first two losses of the new month. And now that puts us at 25 and 3 now. So we're not hurting too much here. Uh, but we do lose two straight. As you see, there are the last 10 games, 8 and 2. And we're looking to see if we can turn, get back on the winning track here, try to get a new streak for ourselves. As you see, there are 13 and a half games now for the uh, Brewers now here in the NL Central. So the Cardinals lose those two games and now trying to get on back on the winning track here as we go to game number two or game number four, actually. And we'll see here Mike Leak on the hill today for the Cardinals as we try to see if we can put a stop to this losing streak here and try to split the series here two games apiece with Leak's arm here today. As you see there, are five games he's been in so far, 5-0 and for the year. And there you see that uh, strikeouts there, 39 strikeouts with four walks. And his uh, innings pitch so far near 40. Willie Peralta, there you see five games he has started so far here. One for one for the year, a 4.23 ERA with uh, tw 27 and two-thirds innings of work, 22 strikeouts and seven walks so far the year. So go ahead and go flash we're all to the fifth inning here when the action actually, uh, when the action actually starts. Try to say that 10 times fast. Uh, but we'll see Peralta up to bat here, and we'll see what he can do. As he's been uh, kind of having a good uh, swing of a bat here as of late. And we'll see what he can do here this at bat here. He swings and hits this one out there to left center field. That is going to drop down. That's going to be good enough for a double as he goes around and he picks up two. So nice job getting himself in scoring position here and trying to get the next batter going. As you see there, the numbers so far entering today's play. And he has three more than the next two guys there. You see Diaz and Molina, uh, who have been uh, having seven doubles apiece here this season. Uh, Peralta has been just on fire here of late. So the old guy, the old timer of the ball club here, ain't doing it very well. There you see his 10th double this season, as we'll see Grischick up to bat. And we'll see what he can do here with a 1-0 count. From here, and we'll see the pitch. And, yep, that is going to be caught underneath the ball there as that one gets popped up. And that is going to be uh, taken there on that one. So, nice job there on the pitch there from the Brewers as Willie Peralta does a nice job. Piscotti coming up the bat here with one out and, of course, one runner on board as he has an 0-1 count here trying to see what he can do here. And he makes a swing there to shallow center field there. That is going to drop down. The runner is going to be told to be held up at first, or excuse me, at third. Runner will not score, and Piscotti will make it at to first there on that one. As he just hits that one just a little too hard there, and it comes off the bat just a little too fast uh, for anyone to score. So now we got runners on the corners here. We got a 01 or 02 count here for Wong, and Wong will get underneath this one, and that is going to be another pop out now two away. Here for the Cardinals. So, Yanni and Molina coming up the bat here. 0 for 1. We'll see what he can do here with the runners on the corners with two outs. And he, of course, wants, would love to bring on home a run here. As he hits this one over to right field here. Thought that was going to go over the head of the right fielder. But the right fielder gets on his horse there and checks that one down. Nice job. And that is going to be it for the inning. So, now we go to the sixth inning here. Another opportunity here for the Cardinals to do something here. He's got Mike Leak, the pitcher, 0 for 1 here. He'll see what he can do with his at bat. And you know what? They, you know, people make fun of pitchers so much because they can't hit, but this one can. He has knocked this one high and deep over the fence, and that is going into the bullpen of the Brewers and letting them know, hey, I can hit. And matter of fact, I just put a run on the board. That's a solo shot there, his second of the year. And it's a 1-0 ball game now for the Cardinals as the Cardinals nation is going crazy here. 
Yes, indeed, as that puts him on the board here. As he is a high five there from Dex. As that's a nice home run for the Cardinals as they lead this one one to nothing. Cardinals get the so far now have the victory. Could get the victory here with this just this one swing. As you see there, 403 feet deep to left field. Nice hit right there from the from the pitcher of all people. Helping himself out in this one. As they have a one nothing lead here. So one nothing here. Oh one count for the next batter here. As we'll see. Diaz hits this one out to left field. Could he do it the same thing here? No, he bounces off that one off the wall of the left. And that's going to be a double. So nice job there as he hits a double and gets in scoring position for himself and for his Cardinals here as you take a look here. And just right there, just almost enough. Almost had enough to get that one over the wall, but unfortunately going to be short. And we'll go ahead and see that, yep, that is going to be a double and a good double there for him. Now we'll see Carpenter up to bat here. and He's going to go ahead and take a swing here. And that one's going to go ahead. And that's going to dribble in for a single as the runner, or you see Diaz, coming in to score. But there you see Carpenter. Oh, my goodness. He gets trying to get a little too greedy there. Actually, no, that was actually me. I actually hit the wrong button. But uh, Carpenter will get tagged out there between first and second there. But the runner will score. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Cardinal. So we'll see that Trevor Rosenthal will here. He'll come up to pitch here. In the eighth, as Rosenthal comes up and swings and has the batter miss there, and there you see the starts comparison there. You see seven game, seven innings of work there for Mike Leak, two hits and nine strikeouts as for Peralta. He bows out in the sixth with two runs, and both of them being earned on him. Now we'll see a 0-2 count. Rosenthal gets another batter here to swing and miss, and that's another nice one there. You see the stat line there. And there you see the Cardinals doing a great job here. Two runs and seven hits so far in this game. Brewers, no runs and only two hits. As we'll go ahead and next at bat here, one, two count. And that is going to be a pop-up here for Diaz as he makes a catch. Or I should say uh, Michael uh, Wong there will make the catch there at second. He's actually playing second today. Uh, but there you see he'll make the catch, and that'll be it for the inning. Now go to the ninth inning here. Try to see if we can wrap this up as Aguilar comes up to pitch hit. And they've got another opportunity here to close out the game here with uh, Ho, as he did not do so well in the first game, and he does not—he did not pick up a save. He executes a blown save, so he's had two blown saves so far this season. As we'll go ahead and see him do something here in the ninth. Here he blows by the fat pitch right there from that hitter, as and he gets a strikeout there. So nice job getting the first out here. He has two more to go here before he can pick up that save. And speaking of saves, there you see 11 saves right now. Curly with uh, Jansen of uh, the Dodgers, who have currently tied with him right now. So he's in good company right now. We'll see here, Valiar. Um, and 0 for 3. We'll see what he can do here at this pitch. And that one goes by there. That's going to be a strikeout there on him as Ho gets the second strikeout in the inning here. And now he's just one out away here from wrapping up this ball game. Hopefully, he can wrap this one up in a nice little bow and try to pull out a victory here. But we'll see. There you see him getting his last thoughts here before he gets the last pitch here. 0-2 count here for the next batter here. And that's going to be a swing and miss. And that right there. Cardinals pick up this one like they should have. And nice job there from Mike Lee. As he picks up another victory here, he picks up his sixth win of the season. Seven innings of work for him. Two hits, nine strikeouts there for him. And Ho picks up his 12th save of the year. So nice job as they win this one two to nothing and split the series up with the Brew Crew uh, two games apiece. So Cardinals pick up a victory here today. And nice job there as they split the series here and now back on the winning track here as they are now our winners once again so two nothing ball game nice job there guys as uh, diaz one for three a double and a run uh, uh, uh piscotti two for three uh for the day for him carpenter one for three in an rbi as for the brew crew uh, 
Peralta picks up another loss there. He's one and two for the year. Six innings of work, six hits, two runs, two earned runs, four strikeouts for him. Tim's 0 for 3. Uh, Ryan Brom 0 for 3, a strikeout there for him. He's really been struggling here. And Shaw 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And Santana 1 for 3 with two strikeouts in the ballgame. And the Brew Crew uh, do not pick up the victory there today. And they really, I really thought since we lost those two games, I thought they were going to really uh, come back in this game here today. But, yep, just uh, could not put anything together here when they did. It was already too late. So a nice day here for the Brewers, or I should say the Cardinals here. They win this one, and they avoid the loss here for this season, or for this series. They do get the split, uh, and that's better than getting a loss. So we'll see what they'll do again. So these two teams, of course, will be playing against each other all summer long. We'll see more of that, and if the – uh, depending on where we're at at this point against them next time around, uh, we'll either show that series or we'll just uh, just kind of just briefly just highlight the series there, uh, maybe as a uh, critical situation or something like that. Kind of want to kind of move the series along a little quicker. Uh, but coming up in the next episode, you guys, we will be taking on the uh, Atlanta Braves. The Braves right now uh, playing some pretty decent baseball in the American League. Uh, in the National League uh, East, uh, you see 13 and 15. They're just two games below 500. But I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think they might be in second place right now uh, in that division. So we'll see them in their new ballpark there in the SunTrust Ballpark, a uh, new ballpark they just opened up this year. So uh, we'll see the first and I believe the first and third game of that series uh, coming up in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, first and third. Uh, and we'll see how that goes here coming up in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of, Ro of uh, the uh, Cardinals franchise here, leave a like. Also, don't forget to hit that subscription button if you're new and subscribe for more St. Louis Cardinals baseball here on ESGNnet. You guys can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr for the latest news and events that are going on here on the channel when it comes to videos. And also what's going on in the world of sports gaming and in uh, sports and gaming itself. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep yourselves together healthy. And definitely come on back for more Cardinals baseball here on ESGNet. I'll see you guys next time.